I noticed at the corner of my eye, a shadow was walking past at the other side of the lockers. I looked and said, Is anybody here? There was no answer. All of a sudden, the light that was illuminating in the back started to blink. I don't know where my courage came from, but I decided to open the last curtain in the back. And when I did, there was nothing. I turned around, but then I heard someone <coughs> crying in the shower booth. So I opened the other curtain again quickly, but still, there was nothing. We were waiting for her, and then we heard a loud, sharp scream. Shortly, that girl ran into the locker room and cried. We were all confused, and she told us that she saw something. A baby, covered in blood. I couldn't see anything because it was too dark. And when I stepped inside the gym, I heard crying. It was a baby crying, and it was coming from the stage. I was frozen, but I wanted to check what was going on here. I went closer to the stage, but the crying abruptly stopped and was followed by a crack noise. <coughs> then I heard crying from another girl. She was sobbing. All of a sudden, the lights were on. My teacher grabbed me and asked if I was okay. I told her that I heard something but didn't see anything. She looked at me calmly and said, I know what you're talking about. You're lucky that you didn't see anything. Then she said when she was working late one day, she saw a body floating in the swimming pool which is close to the gym. She thought it was one of the students. So she tried to save that person. When I tried to get to her, it was completely gone, she said. And then she told me there was the ghost of the girl who drowned a few years back. This girl was pregnant and she gave birth in the shower booth. She didn't want it, so she killed the baby by breaking its neck. Later on, she regretted what she did, so she drowned herself in the swimming pool. When I heard the whole story from my teacher, I felt a little bit sad. But I'm still wondering what was the shadow I saw in the locker room. And sometimes, it still gives me goosebumps when I think about it. Especially the crying of the baby and the bone cracking noise. If the gym teacher did not come along, would I have seen that ghost of a girl holding the baby? Well, other than that, I just feel grateful that I didn't see anything that would shock me for my whole life.